So what does it look like for someone who goes into a community? Do they go in by themselves or do they go in with a team? The, the people we train and deploy, they go by team. But then from the existing churches, because uh, we put a lot of emphasis that any, every disciple should uh, reproduce himself. So now everywhere they go, they are sharing these stories. So it, it will be, you know, uh, that person alone sharing the stories in his natural network. So uh, in that case, it will be just uh, one person sharing stories uh, in his uh, natural network. Going forth <coughs> by faith rather than just a hope or a dream. Um, when we pray, we are always expecting that something will happen. We don't just pray and, you know, uh, okay, uh, you know, you just say a word. And sometimes we pray, but the reality is we are not expecting that something will happen. When we pray for a community, we believe that when we go in, God will do something. So we, we are expecting that. When we go into a community, we are expecting that, one, God will help us find a person of peace, or two, when we go in, boom, something will happen. You know, we have seen a lot of things. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, in a country in North Africa, this brother said, okay, I think God is asking me to go and start in this town. So he got there, and now he was afraid to let people know that he's a Christian because they can kill him. So <laughs> he locked himself in the house. He would go out just to buy food and come back so he was praying every day. When he's not out to look for food, he's praying, Lord, what can I do? I want to find a person of peace. After several days, he said he was there, and then someone came and knocked the door. And uh, he opened, and it was the, the guy who called for prayer at the mosque. And then he said, oh, I noticed that we have a new person in the community. And uh, I have not seen you at the mosque yet. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> and then he said, well, uh, coming from, so he said where he, he was coming from. And then uh, he said, oh, well, I, I came here just to, uh, you know, uh, see if I can be part of this community and so. But... He was reading his Bible, and the Bible remained on the table when he came and opened the door. And then the man said, oh, I see that you are reading. Say yes. Which book is that? And now he didn't want to say Bible. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, it is a book that talks about God. He said, oh, I like books that talk about God. Can I borrow it? He said, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I've not finished. I said, no, you know, I don't sleep a lot in the night, so I can read quickly and then bring it back to you. So he was trying to avoid because he said, if I give it to him, he will find out that it is a Bible, then I'm dead. But at the end, he said, okay. So he uh, gave him the book. The man left. And then he stopped hearing him calling for prayer. And then he tried to find out what was happening. And then someone told him that, oh, it seems that he is sick. Yeah. Say, oh, if he is sick, uh, well, I want to go and at least uh, say hello and, uh, you know. 
Uh, this is part of the cultural practice. But then I will take my Bible back. <laughs> <laughs> so he went there, and then uh, he found this man. He was not sick. He was, you know, in good health. He said, well, I was told that you were sick. And then he said, come. I'm not sick. You know, the book that you gave me, when I came and I started reading, I could not stop. <laughs> By the way, there are things that I don't understand. C can we talk about that together? And I say yes. In the home of this man, a discovery Bible study started. And today, he's also going around making disciples. So God brought the person of peace to him. <laughs> because he was afraid, and he spent his whole time praying, Lord, uh, I think if people know that I'm a Christian, they will kill me. How can I find a person of peace? How can I go into a contact with people? I think God look at that and say, okay, this man, I need to rescue him. So <laughs> he brought him the person of peace. <laughs> so we see, you know, so when we pray and we go into the community, we are expecting that something will happen. Now, uh, there are a lot of cases where nothing happened. And then we move on. We move on. Yes. How do you learn that kind of prayer? Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he talked about the, I'm, I'm repeating yes, this for the yes, folks online here. Yes. Talk, uh, the question is, uh, how, how do you learn uh, the kind of prayer that's prayer is fighting? Um, as an African, I, when I was born, I grew up uh, with the awareness that I'm living in two worlds spiritual and physical. So I have to deal with both. And uh, in the spiritual realm, there are bad spirits and there are good spirits. So there is a fight. So even when I become Christian and I start reading the Bible, <laughs> I see that fight. I talk about Daniel. It is a fight. And there are a lot of verses that show that as Christians, as children of God, we are in a spiritual warfare. The Bible said that the devil is like a, a lion that is roaring, who is looking for who to eat. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it is there. So we learned that, uh, you know, being a Christian, it is a fight uh, because the enemy <coughs> will want to prevent me to grow, will want to prevent the blessing of God to come upon me. So again, Daniel's story, God was sending blessing, but, uh, you know, my, my view of uh, Paul said that there are three, uh, how you call it? Heavens. Heavens, three. Well, the first one is when you look up, you see, you know, the second one, and then the third one. And Paul said that it wa he was uh, sent to the third one where he saw and heard things that he cannot explain. So it means that between the first and the third, there is a second one. I believe, this is my understanding of what I read in the Bible, this is where Satan has his headquarters. And anything that God wants to send from the third heaven to the earth, this is where, you know, he has his... Uh, uh, soldiers try to prevent that and as we pray our prayer make things happen in that realm so it is a fight when I'm praying uh, angel of God are moving when I stop praying say okay he doesn't need us so 
that go in vacation. <laughs> Oh, why not? Okay. Hang on, hang on. So, uh, so the question is about uh, the, the passage in Matthew about binding the strong man. Uh, and uh, the suggestion is by Sanford here is that God opens, or Jesus, as he's telling the story, opens the door for a cooperation between the elephant and the ant. So when you pray, uh, do you feel like there's uh, an authority that the ant has? Am I that in, in terms of binding the strong man in this process? Is that? Uh, Jesus said, what you bind on earth is bound in heaven. W when I pray, uh, I strongly believe that God has given me the authority. God is in me. He has done his part. So I'm going into this battle in the position of a winner. He's not a winner. I am the winner because Jesus is in me. So this is my position. So I'm going to uh, execute <laughs> what is already done. So this is my posture. This is my attitude when I'm praying. Satan. You have no right here. So release. Because the Bible said that in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow on earth and in heaven. So, you know, and I see that in the Bible that God has given me the authority. He has, Jesus has won the battle. So I am in that position of a winner. And then, uh, you know, I've been in the war uh, in the country. Even when uh, a group is defeated, they will continue to fight. This is Satan. He continued to fight, but he has been defeated. But he will continue. This is why the Bible says he is like a lion who is roaring. I think there are hunters here. When a lion go hunting and roaring, it means that he has no more power. A lion that is strong, going to hunt for meat, for food, is silent. Mm -hmm. By the time the, uh, the prey realized that, oh, he is in danger, he's already there to catch him. Mm -hmm. But the lion who is roaring, he's old, weak, so he don't <laughs> so that the prey will be afraid. And then by the time he realized that, oh, so he will come slowly and then grab him. This is Satan. He's making a lot of noise. He's making, you know. But when he faced a Christian who knows who he is and the authority he has and start implementing that. But the Bible says, resist him and he will... All right, Jeff. Comfort. So as as a <laughs> as an African, <laughs> what what are the strongholds you see in North America that um, that w we need to deal with? Um. I think this idea of I can do it myself. I don't need help. Uh, for me, this is, one, it is a lie. And it has become a stronghold. Um, I said comfort. 
maybe it is, you know, but it, it is real because it is like I deserve everything. It should come, it will, yeah. you know. And this is a problem. So uh, when it comes to warfare, you don't fight because it is like I can do it myself and if it is not happening, well, okay. I let it go. So f for me, uh, you know, I, I try, I'm still trying to understand the context in, in the U.S. Uh, Sometimes I go and read during the revivals, what are the things that were happening? And when I look the prayer during the revival here in the U.S., it is very different from what is happening today. Very different. So, I think in any city, it will be good to find out the history of that city and then pray and God will open the eyes on strongholds. There are strongholds in the cities. Uh, in San Francisco, it is easy to see the strongholds. <laughs> well, my first time to go in San Francisco, I, I felt something that was not uh, this was my first time for me, okay, this is a beautiful city it is, wow but uh, we're going with uh, uh, a lady uh, my wife and I and she was going to show us this bridge but when, when we went in the city it was like no, no, there is the atmosphere is not, there is something, but uh, you, you have to be there enough time, pray, go around, say, God, what is going on here? We have to learn how to listen to God. Not just, you know, ask, uh, shout, no, no, you listen to God. And God will lead how to pray. Uh, God will show the stronghold, uh, and then this will uh, show us how to better pray for a community. So, yeah, the stronghold in the U.S., I, I would say they are, they, they are different from city to city, but I think the general culture, they are things that have been developed that has become stronghold. Graham, last question. So we in this room see a, a future for DMM. In fact, most of us are staking our lives on it. You had a denomination who you came to, sponsored by a really good friend. <laughs> and he was told, don't bring this man back again. <laughs> Only to later have them come back around. Uh, what was the time frame in that? And what should we expect here for that kind of rebound for people who reject us? In that case, I think it was about three years. And uh, in, in the region, well, the ugly know the region, uh, Biancuma and Man, you know, that, that region. Uh, I think we had a rich movement in, I think, three people group in that place. So uh, they, they saw a lot of things going on. And then the pastors started talking about that. And because there is no name, you will not see uh, what you will never see new generation. <laughs> you know, so they, they started asking, what is the, who are you? Uh, who, who is behind this? This is how they discovered that, oh, it is uh, this guy who came and talked to us and we said, no, uh, uh, this is uh, he and his team, this is what they are doing. 
uh, Ray knows another person who rejected and then he came back later, Zach. <laughs> and Zach invited <laughs> Roy because when he came back, he said, well, uh, you, you know me. Uh, he wanted to have a mega church in Abidjan. Uh, he liked uh, doing, you know, campaign, a lot of that. He said, you know, I cannot stop that. But I want to have what I saw in the field. By that time, I have read the uh, hybrid <laughs> church. And I said, I know someone. You can invite him. He will come and talk to you. So uh, Rai came, and he came with his bicycle. And people are still talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yes, when people see what uh, what is happening in the field, then they, they 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 come back. And with this denomination, I think it was about three years. All right, thanks so much, Inusa.